Welcome back to another great Fear No Fix edition right here on our Blue Driver channel. Today on this 2005 Chevy Silverado 5.3 liter, we have a P1516 code and we used our Blue Driver to pull that and this very likely is going to be a throttle body replacement on this car. Uh, medium difficulty kind of repair, it's in the book at an hour of labor, so you know you can save a ton of money on this one. This job's not so bad couple of hose clamps, a few bolts, you might spill a tiny little bit of coolant. If you've got another GM vehicle, truck or SUV with a 5.3 liter V8, then it should be a pretty similar job, so the steps you're going to see here will apply there as well. With this P1516 code, about a third of the time, it is the battery. Getting your battery tested is free, so go get that done first. We've determined our battery is good, so we're going to go ahead and change the throttle body. If this video helps you, saves you some money, like it, subscribe to our Blue Driver channel. Let's get at it. The tools needed for the replacement of the throttle body are an 8mm and 10mm socket and ratchet, pliers or vice grips, and a quarter or 3 8 inch torque wrench. And it's very helpful to have rags and cleaner. Loosen this 8mm bolt right here, and then we'll remove the engine cover. Lift up and pull out. Now we need to remove the outlet ducting from the air box to the throttle body. We start by loosening these two hose clamps, one here, and then the second one is over here. And both are an eight millimeter bolt. There's a clip on the bottom of the outlet ducting that holds on the radiator hose and the coolant line for the throttle body. The throttle body coolant line just pulls out. Then you can use a screwdriver or a flat bladed tool, insert it into the clip up here. Remove the radiator hose, and then you can take the whole outlet ducting out and we'll put it aside. On this step, we're gonna have to remove the coolant line that runs through the throttle body. It comes in on the left here. There's a hose clamp, and then there's an outlet hose on the right with another hose clamp. So if you want, you can basically just put down a rag and pull them off. You're gonna lose half a cup, a cup of coolant. Um, alternately, you can use some of those fancy pliers that are used for pinching off hoses to stop them. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use vice grips and I'm going to put a rag in between the teeth just so we don't have bare metal crushing down so you know we're not gonna tear the hose. How many miles does this truck have on it, Chris? Miles. 250,000 kilometers. Sorry, I'm Canadian. <laughs> now, we're gonna remove the two hose clamps. You can do this with the needle nose pliers, any sort of pliers, or if you wanna be fancy, you can go, you can shell out the $15 and get a pair of hose clamp pliers, which might make your life a lot easier, but you don't need them. I think we've done some other repairs where you wish you had that tool. I was told I wasn't allowed to do any more hoses without one. <laughs> so I loosened one hose clamp, slid it over. The second one is down here. These things are worth every cent. Put down a rag to catch any coolant that spills. And then pull off the coolant lines. Hmm, not too much. This one here is a little bit trickier. And there we go. Pull out on this gray clip, then down on the tab, and disconnect the throttle body. Next, we'll remove this hose by pulling out. Remove the three 10 millimeter bolts. One here, one down here, one over here. Remove the throttle body. Don't forget about the old gasket in there, Chris. Yeah, good point. It can be a little hard to get it out. It might be wedged in there a little bit, so you can use a flat bladed screwdriver or a pick or something. Just be careful not to scratch the mating surface.
trade you? No. Now, before we put the new gasket in, I'm just gonna clean up this surface here a little bit. Just look for any corrosion, dirt, debris, anything that could cause a poor seal. And then press in the new gasket. Nice. Install a shiny new throttle body. Probably won't look like this for too long. Mm -hmm. All right, put on your three 10 millimeter nuts. Uh, what's the torque spec on this one, Chris? 89 inch pounds or 7.4 foot pounds. And of course, I didn't bring my quarter inch torque wrench today. I only have my 3 8 inch. So it's going to be right at the very bottom what that wrench is rated for. Torque to 89 inch pounds. That's inch pounds, not foot pounds using an unnecessarily large torque wrench. Hook up this hose behind the throttle body. And plug in the throttle body connector. Push down to the gray tab. Throttle body coolant line. Now it's unlikely to be a problem, but since you might spill a little bit of coolant on this step, you should check your coolant after and top it up as necessary. Now our outlet ducting. We're gonna clip on the rad hose. And we're also going to clip in the uh, throttle body coolant line. Install the ducting on the throttle body. And on the mass airflow sensor. Tighten your hose clamps. Finally, the engine cover. And we're finally done. All right, that's it. We're buttoned up, we're ready to get this truck back on the road. We're gonna do a drive cycle reset for about 40 to 45 minutes. That'll reset our emission monitors so it'll allow us to take an emission test. Use your blue driver, clear your check engine light, and then go for this drive. Chris, what did you think? Not so bad, just a little bit of coolant other than that. It was pretty smooth. All right, so hope this saved you some money, saved you some time. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, fear no fix.